folks uh this is ron back here with another video on ron's youtube channel here and uh you know we cover drones gopros 360 cameras all sorts of tech gear related related around all the stuff we do here but today is a drone video we have the uh the mavic uh, mavic 3 here and uh the mavic 3 got a firmware update um you know uh was it may or beginning of june anyhow it uh it added a lot of features to it uh, related to the, uh, the the telecamera on it, but uh, also one of the hidden features of it was it fixed um, some of the issues with the uh, GPS. So this drone had a reputation for being slow at acquiring GPS satellites, so this firmware has uh, helped uh, many folks. So uh, we're going to test that test that out right here now to see how fast we can get our satellites. So the first thing we're going to do is going to boop the smart controller, then we're going to boop the drone. So uh, I'm going to put the drone uh, right over here in the car. Sorry if I walk out of the frame here, but I'm going to boot uh, what's known as this is the RC Pro controller. So I'm going to boot that up now. Short tap and a long tap. And uh, you see it, it booting up here. Um, really good controller. Uh, uh, if you if you haven't tried the RC Pro, if you're still flying with the standard controller and you want that uh, bright uh, thousand nit screen, this is the one to get. Um, and it even offers better image image transmission, you know, uh, connection to the drone than the regular RC One controller does. Okay, this is all the way booted up here now. Uh, now we're going to turn the drone on here. So um, I'm going to actually use. Um, Again, hope I'm not walking out of frame when I'm doing this stuff here, but uh, I'm going to, you know, uh, put the controller over here. And uh, we got the drone right now, so um, we've already got the um, kind of gimbal guard thing off of here. So we're going to unfold the propellers um, and we're going to, we've got a battery and I don't think we got a full battery in here, but it's not going to make a difference here since we're just, um, you know, testing purposes only as they say so we're going to set the same thing here we're going to short press long press okay so now you can see the drones booting up so we're going to sit on top of the car here the Mavic 3 is great because it doesn't uh, care about magnetic interference okay so it hasn't connected to the uh, drone yet we're going to do a screen recording in the meantime here uh, screen recording Okay, we're screen recording now. So, okay, we're doing a screen recording, and uh, okay, right now we have zero satellites, and at, at eight, at seven seconds into the screen recording. So, okay, we're going to use that kind of a timer here. Okay, we're at eight satellites already at 15 seconds in. Um, We'll, we'll just subtract the seven off, whatever whatever the screen recording says here. So still, it's eight satellites, um, ten satellites. 15 satellites, home point locked. Please check it on the map. Okay, that was at 32 seconds. So um, 32 seconds uh, minus 7. So we got um, a home point locked in uh, 25 seconds. And this drone hasn't been booted up for over a week. You know, and I've never actually been in this exact location before with the drone. I mean, this is not that far from where I live. Maybe, you know, I don't even want to gas here you know uh, uh maybe a, a thousand feet maybe more than that or whatever uh you know so it's you know it, it you know i'm about five ten minute walk from where i live so anyhow it's at least a thousand feet away this drone's never been in this exact sp spot before and it got it in 25 seconds so how about that uh, folks all the doubters out there the doubting thomas has said that dji would never be able to fix this um it's hardware it's an automotive chip they'll never be able to fix it 25 seconds uh there's the proof uh there you go and the case uh i mean and i'm just i'm just rolling it on thick here uh i know that it's many people out there that will not get 25 seconds that i just got here you know um every drone is a little bit different every area you know uh weather conditions uh you know so much uh, you know goes into uh, how fast you acquire these satellites uh no two tests are ever the same but um but this is 
you know, the last time I did this, I was like, I think at 55 seconds or whatever. So this is my best ever 25 seconds. But for me, the issue's over. And I hope it's over for you too, watching out there. If you're still experiencing long boot up times, you know, I'm sorry, you know, uh, maybe your drone does have a hardware issue or you just live in uh, uh, an area is bad for getting satellites. I, you know, there's so many multiple explanations why this would happen. But generally, uh, I, I used to take me, I mean, you know, before they put the firmware out de date in March, it could take me, I'm going to say an average of four minutes to get my home point locked before that. That was just an average. I've had five, six minutes and I've, I had two or three minutes for it, but an average of about four minutes to get home point locked before the March update. And when the March update hit, then I was getting, um, you know, under two minutes, uh, many times, like just a minute, a minute, 10, minute 15 or whatever, between a minute and two was my average maybe i still was getting a worst case scenario of a little bit over two but now with this you know the firmware update that came out um i'll put the numbers down below what the firmware update is but it came out somewhat recently it came out in the me in the time when i was <laughs> waiting for the mini three to arrive it, it came out and uh, this has completely this has turned it just into like any other dji drone for me as soon as i get the thing on and kind of get things set up boom home point locked you take off so uh, yeah, li life's good, um, you know, so that's it. Uh, I won't go on and on and on here. Uh, hope you enjoyed this test of the DJI uh, Mavic 3 drone and, and how fast it locks GPS. And now, if you got anything out of this video, give it the old thumbs up to the video, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the bell notification button so you see more content on well, not only the Mavic 3, but the uh, the new Mini 3 Pro, we're still doing content on the Mini 2. We're still doing content on the Air 2S, as well as the the new drone from um, Altel, the Nano Plus drone. Uh, you know, the drone with the great night sensor camera. So still a lot going on here. We even fly the uh, the Evo 2 Pro a little bit too, give that a little bit of a workout. So a lot, lot going on here in the channel this summer. So uh, we will definitely see you on the next one, folks.